The Miss South Dakota USA pageant strives to empower women to develop the confidence they need to achieve their personal best. Last month, the organization crowned the young woman who will be representing South Dakota on the national stage at the Miss USA competition. Here to tell us more about how she plans to make the most of her new position and recent crowning is Miss South Dakota USA 2019, Abigail Mershman. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm not even used to you saying that yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So just tell me, how does it feel? It's Okay, so two days after it happened, I'm telling everyone I'm going to come down from cloud nine, like my feet are going to touch the ground. I've just accepted they're not going to touch the ground. I'm just going to be that cloud nine, super excited all year long. And I think that's just kind of the best way to go about it. We only get 365 days and I really want to make the most of it. Yeah, that's a great yeah. attitude to have. So have you been in pageants before? <laughs> no, this was my first ever pageant. So I saw Madison Knight, who made actual nation, let me think, she made... I'm sorry, I'm freaking out. <laughs> so it was Miss USA, wasn't she like third runner up or something? No, she was top five. Top so, five. Yeah, okay. She made South Dakota history, actually. And so I saw her do that and I knew her before she won the crown. And it was all of a sudden it just kind of made sense to me that I wanted this position and I wanted to go for the job at the title holder and here we are. So she was a lot of that inspiration behind it. Yes, uh-huh. So how did you start preparing for this if you've never done mm -hmm. one before? So it's a lot about confidence. Um, the Miss USA organization and Miss Universe organization are about empowering women and so they want their title holders to just be the most confident women on stage in an interview and so I spent a lot of time journaling actually every night just to learn about myself and also learn about what I'm good at, what I'm bad at and then that really helped me to be able to present who I was and my story to the judges. So your story, let's Let's hear it. What is that? So I'm actually originally from Des Moines. I came up to South Dakota State to pursue a degree in journalism. And basically what happened was I was ready to go out to L.A. Performing, singing, acting has always been a part of my life. Um, back when I was a little girl, I used to sing in my barn. I used the echo. Um, and it was just a lifelong dream to be on Broadway, to do Les Mis. And so we flew out my sophomore year of college to LA and I competed at a competition in front of management and agencies from New York and Los Angeles, Milan, all around the world. Wow. And I actually ended up winning first runner up for singer and actress of the year and that's actually called IMTA. And we flew back to South Dakota, I kept doing classes but I still had plans to move out there because I had signed with an agency, I was all ready to go. And then I actually was diagnosed with a disorder called endometriosis, which is of the female organs. And it weakened my health very, very quickly. And so I had to look at myself in the mirror and say, you know, you just don't feel good enough for a new this big. But the dots connected now as I look back because after that diagnosis and I had gone through the treatment and the surgery, then I found a job at Montgomery's Furniture as a digital content specialist, which I absolutely love doing. And I get to be the next Miss South Dakota USA. And I get to go on Miss yeah. USA. So if I wouldn't went out to LA, none of this would have happened. And it just makes sense now. So how do you plan to use your story to be an advocate and share this during yeah. your... I think a lot of women just need to know to speak up in the doctor's office when they don't feel good. Um, you know, I was telling the doctor that I was in pain throughout high school. There was always something a little wrong, but I never said, I, I don't feel good enough to leave bed. I never gave him full detail about what was going on. And so I want to be an advocate for women to speak up, be honest about your symptoms, and hopefully we'll be able to catch something like endometriosis or another invisible disease in time. So having this title, I mean, this is such an incredible thing. Do you think this will help you with your future career plans or what do you plan to do? Well, I'm 22, so some days I think I have it all figured out, but <laughs> some days I don't. I don't really know. I'm just, I'm going with the flow right now. I'm loving this title. I'm loving business, but then there's also this performing side to myself. And so I'm kind of hoping that this title will bring it full circle and I'll have a better understanding whether I want to stay in the Midwest and pursue business, which I love, or go out to LA and pursue maybe Broadway in New York. It's all kind of up in the air right now, but I just know what I'm passionate about and I hope to run with it. So what are you most excited about for the next upcoming year having this title? I'm really excited to go to, to Miss USA. That's live on Fox, which is still like, it gives me the good shakes as I talk about it. And then I'm really excited just to meet everyone around Sioux Falls, go to the events and advocate for both women in business and then women's health. 
So the Miss USA competition, is that another whole entire event that you're going to have to prepare for? Yes. Or is this spur of the mm -hmm. moment? No, it's, I mean, we're preparing all year. All of these events, and even speaking with you, I see it as preparation to be able to tell who I am to the judges at Miss USA during the interview. A lot of it is also fitness, just taking care of yourself, um, living a healthy lifestyle. We always want to have a really good positive mindset throughout the year and to build that confidence for the Miss USA stage. So I'm just having fun right now. I'm soaking up the crown, trying to meet as many people as I can, but hopefully a couple weeks, I would say, I'm going to hit the gym again, start practicing for interview, journaling. So it, it's going to come, but I'm really just soaking it up right now. So getting into this process, for anyone who's interested mm -hmm. in running for Miss South Dakota yeah. USA in the future, what did you learn most about yourself going through this entire thing? I thought I was a very confident person at first um, until I went through this process and you think, you know, I'm going to be in a swimsuit on stage. I'm going to have to be the most confident girl I have ever been. And so I learned a lot of just little toxic behaviors that I have about myself, little doubts that will go through my head before I do something big like being on the news like this. And so I really just learned my confidence and the little ticks that happen that hold me back and then the little ticks that happen that also make me fly at the things that I love. And so I'm, I'm really hopeful that in this journey towards Miss USA, I'm just going to learn even more. And that's something like a skill I'm going to bring with me throughout my life. And this can be pretty intimidating because it's such a big event and yeah. you have a lot going on. And I think it's great that for you, you didn't have any pageant experience. Mm -hmm. So for a tip of advice for anyone interested also in running, what do they need to know going into this? Well, the Future Productions girls, so they put on the pageants in North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota, Iowa. The whole weekend of Miss South Dakota USA is rehearsals and then also getting just to hang out with the girls. So they tell you everything that you need to do on stage. They prepare you for interview. I would say my bit of advice is learn yourself, know who you are, and journal every day. I love it. Thank you so much, Abby, and congratulations. Yes. Thank you for having me on. Thank you.